Hey, home learning heroes! Welcome back. We are on week number three of Unit One, My Sister. So today we're going to look at the third home reader book, and you can follow along with me. We'll read it two times. First, we'll look at what we can see in the story, and then we will read it for fluency. So this is the front cover that you can see, and the title of the story. Titles are at the top. We can read together. Ready? Kimmy in the toy shop. Now I know that Kimmy is Tom's sister. That's from the big book. And I would love to go to a toy shop. Down at the bottom of the cover, we have the big letter A. Do you remember what that's for? Author. And the author writes the words. We need to cover up the author word, and then we have the name, Ben Parker. Underneath author is that big word. It starts with the big letter I. It stands for illustrator. An illustrator draws the pictures. Cover it up, and you have the word Ming Wong. All right, we're gonna go through it now. First, we have the title page. Kimmy in the toy shop. I can see lots and lots of toys. Hmm, I wonder which toy you would choose. Let's look. There is Tom. What's Tom doing in our story? He's saying something. There's a bubble right here with some words in it, and it's pointing towards Tom, so I know Tom is talking. And the word is Kimmy. That exclamation point right there means there's lots of energy in that word. Kimmy! Why is he shouting Kimmy in the toy shop? Hmm. Oh, he's not in the toy shop. I can see the sign at the top. Look. P-E-T. Pet shop. Let's read at the bottom, okay? Here we go. This is Tom. And there he is again. He's yelling, Kimmy! We can read, he is in the pet shop. Now that's confusing. The title of the story is Kimmy in the toy shop. What is Tom doing in the pet shop? I think he's looking for someone. Oh, there she is. There's Kimmy. Kimmy's definitely in the toy shop. She's not in the pet shop and looks like she's already bought some toys. We can read. This is Kimmy. Yep, she's looking at toys. I like the dolls because some of these dolls look just like Tom. Did you see that? All right, let's read. She is in the toy shop. How does Kimmy feel? I can see her face. She looks pretty happy. Okay, I see Tom now. Tom is not in the pet shop anymore. I can see he's in the toy shop, but he's still shouting. The words coming out of his mouth. Kimmy! Hmm, let's read. Tom is in the toy shop. Kimmy is in the toy shop. Look, do you think that Tom can see Kimmy? I don't think so. What do you think will happen next? Maybe Tom will go around the corner and see Kimmy. There he is. Look, he looks so worried. And Kimmy, Kimmy doesn't know what, why Tom's so worried. He says, Kimmy! <laughs> Look at that. I think he was looking for his sister. He couldn't find her. Have you ever lost somebody in your family and you had to shout their name? You say, where are you? Well, you feel pretty good when you finally find them. All right, that's our story. Very interesting. Let's look at the content words. Going down, these are the words we need to know so we can read it better. Ready? Pet, shop, toy, Tom, Kimmy. Just a couple today. Go back through that list to make sure that you can read them all. All right, let's go ahead and read it with fluency. We're going to read it a little louder, a little more energy, and a little faster. You can follow along with me. Kimmy in the toy shop. And we'll start with the speech, okay? Kimmy! This is Tom. Kimmy! He is in the pet shop. This is Kimmy. She is in the toy shop. Kimmy! Tom is in the toy shop. Kimmy is in the toy shop. Kimmy! Ah, oh, he found her. Okay, good job guys. Now, in your home reading booklets, you have this page, which has our story at the top, Kimmy in the toy shop, 
for week number three. Now you know what to do by now. Go back through, find the interesting words. You want to write the word right here in the box and maybe draw a little picture. See how many you can find. All right, come back and visit me again. Good job. We'll see you for week number four. Until then, goodbye.